In the future, Starship will journey even further, undertaking a range of critical space missions. The driving force behind these ventures is undoubtedly the Raptor engine. After focusing on landing capabilities in recent flights, the time is approaching to demonstrate the Raptor's potential for in-space operations. Preparations for this next phase are well underway. So how is SpaceX progressing with Raptor's readiness for space? Will we see the Raptor engine operating beyond Earth's atmosphere soon? And how will this milestone impact the path ahead? Let's dive into these questions on today's episode of Great SpaceX. According to recent reports, the U.S. Department of Defense is set to significantly increase its budget for a low-Earth orbit satellite internet system, raising funds for the proliferated low-Earth orbit satellite-based services program from $900 million U.S. dollars to an anticipated $13 billion. This notable investment aims to support the connectivity needs of all U.S. military branches, with a focus on high-speed internet satellite systems that enhance military operations specifically SpaceX's Starlink satellite network. Every branch of the military, infantry, navy, and air force requires reliable satellite systems for communication, positioning, tracking, observation, and more to ensure mission effectiveness. The PLEO program operates under an Indefinite Delivery Indefinite Quantity, or IDIQ, contract managed by the Defense Information Systems Agency, or DISA, as well as the Space Systems Command's Commercial Satellite Communications Office. This IDIQ structure allows the military to engage multiple vendors, fostering competition, and comes with a five-year contract term with a possible five-year extension. Leveraging commercial satellite technology ensures the military benefits from the latest technological advances. While many vendors are participating in the PLEO program, SpaceX has already emerged as a key player, securing $660 million under the initial $900 million allocation for Starshield, the military-specific version of Starlink. SpaceX's satellite system has proven itself in numerous scenarios, providing high-speed, low-latency internet in areas unreachable by traditional networks, aiding communities during natural disasters, such as the recent earthquakes in Japan and Hurricanes Helene and Milton, and supporting Ukraine's defense infrastructure against external threats. Additionally, Starlink has demonstrated its space applications through projects like the Polaris Dawn mission and Starship flights. One of the key advantages of Starlink is its ease of installation. There's no need for cumbersome wiring or intermediate stations. All that is required is a terminal device that can be set up anywhere with a clear view of the sky, ensuring a reliable internet connection. The strength of the Starlink system lies in its operational altitude, which is significantly lower than that of competing systems. This unique positioning facilitates increased access speeds and reduced latency. Furthermore, the sheer quantity of satellites contributes to its power. SpaceX has launched over 7,000 satellites to date, with more than 6,000 currently in operation. Recently, SpaceX celebrated a milestone announcing, Falcon 9 launches our 200th Starlink mission to orbit, to which Elon Musk responded, Congrats, SpaceX team, on the 200th successful Starlink flight. Building on this momentum, SpaceX is preparing to develop Starshield, a military-focused satellite system that may be launched aboard the Starship. Once operational, Starshield's capabilities are expected to significantly enhance communication efficiency, data analysis, and rapid transmission of critical information. Additionally, in remote areas where traditional network systems fall short, Starshield will ensure reliable communication and connectivity. More importantly, Starshield's extensive operational range will serve as a valuable tool for detecting external threats, providing timely warnings to the defense system, and enhancing overall national security. These capabilities are crucial for the success of military missions, and with Starshield, the United States aims to reinforce its position as the most powerful and advanced military force in the world. Turning back to the PLEO contract, various satellite systems have been proposed, including Amazon's Kuiper system. However, in terms of capabilities and timelines, Kuiper does not measure up to SpaceX's offering. Given the demonstrated advantages of SpaceX's systems, I am confident that the majority, if not all, of the $13 billion will be allocated to SpaceX's initiatives. 
What are your thoughts on the contract awarded to SpaceX? Are there any alternative systems you believe could compete effectively against them? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's journey and advancements. Now, to deploy Starshield, we must consider the critical role of Starship. Choosing Starship for this mission is undoubtedly the right move, given the constraints on Falcon rockets now and in the future. But even more compelling is Starship's immense potential. With a current payload capacity of approximately 100 tons and the possibility of exceeding 200 in the future, Starship can carry 4 to 10 times more mass to low Earth orbit than Falcon 9 and 1.5 to 3 times more than the Falcon Heavy. This means each Starship launch could deploy over 100 satellites compared to the current limit of 23, significantly accelerating satellite system deployment to meet the military's urgent needs. Another advantage is Starship's potential for full reusability, which would drastically reduce costs. This competitive price point strengthens Starship's appeal for both SpaceX and the Pentagon. Both SpaceX and the Department of Defense can be confident in Starship's development progress. In just one and a half years, SpaceX has achieved milestones like catching Super Heavy with the chopsticks and performing controlled vertical landings with Starship. In the coming year, SpaceX aims to recover the entire Starship system by attempting a chopstick-assisted ship landing targeting full reusability by early 2025. Once this goal is achieved, SpaceX's focus will shift to payload launches, initially likely for Starlink satellites, as we've seen with Falcon missions. When stability in these missions is reached, Starshield launches will likely follow. Based on current progress, we could see Starshield launches as early as third quarter or fourth quarter next year. Comparatively, Amazon's Kuiper system, although promising, faces challenges due to reliance on slow developing rockets. Blue Origin's New Glenn, ULA's Vulcan, and ESA's Ariane 6. This choice has led to delays that underscore the advantages of SpaceX's more agile approach with Starship. New Glenn has yet to complete its first mission despite extensive preparation. At best, it might manage a single launch this year. To qualify for national security missions, New Glenn will need a successful second mission, projected no earlier than early next year. Even then, there's no certainty that everything will proceed smoothly or that New Glenn will be ready to handle Kuiper launches soon after. Vulcan, initially expected to perform strongly, has also faced delays. Despite completing its second mission in October, it now faces a backlog of National Security Space Launch Program missions. These delays and operational uncertainties make its ability to support Kuiper launches unpredictable, with existing issues adding further risk to each mission. As for Ariane 6, its debut mission in July, after years of delay, revealed issues that cast doubt over its upcoming schedule. These setbacks have cost Ariane 6 numerous launch contracts to SpaceX, leaving the Kuiper timeline even more uncertain. Given these challenges, the military is unlikely to rely on a system with such consistent delays. This scenario highlights why SpaceX's satellite internet and launch capabilities have become the preferred solution across many sectors. Especially Especially for the military. Even now, with only the Falcon and Starlink systems, SpaceX has surpassed competing satellite constellations and launch services. Once Starship and Starshield are fully operational, the potential becomes even greater. A powerful, user-friendly, reliable, and flexible satellite network paired with a launch system capable of heavy payloads, full reusability, and rapid development, an ideal combination to meet any launch schedule. Considering this, allocating the full $13 billion to SpaceX seems a logical choice for the Pentagon. This is how SpaceX and its systems will once again demonstrate their superiority. Over the past year, Starlink has demonstrated its capabilities across various sectors, solidifying its position as a leader in satellite communication. Its application within the aerospace industry has been particularly notable, showcasing how reliable connectivity can enhance operational effectiveness. As we move forward, there is a pressing need for Starlink to take a significant step in bolstering national security. This objective aligns seamlessly with the mission of Starshield, SpaceX's military-grade satellite system designed to provide secure high-speed internet for defense operations. Central to this initiative is Starship, SpaceX's ambitious and massive rocket currently undergoing rapid development. 
Starship's potential extends beyond its intended lunar and Martian missions. It is increasingly recognized for its critical role in launching internet satellites, specifically tailored for military use. This versatility not only enhances the capabilities of Starlink, but also ensures that the U.S. military can maintain a competitive edge in global communications. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.